Welcome to another video at Indies Tech. This video is part of the series of the video I'm making on Raspberry Pi 4 based pick and place robot. As you can see, the robot is a Raspberry Pi 4 based omni wheel pick and place unidirectional robot. And uh, I have used the motor controller, which is a TB661FNG from the image you can see. So I will discuss the pinout of the motor controller, how you gonna connect it with Raspberry Pi 4. In my project, I have used Raspberry Pi 4, Raspberry Pi 4, but you can use Raspberry Pi 5 as well with the same pinout configuration. Now there are different version of TB66 motor controller. As you can see, uh, the top one actually I have used, but the bottom one is uh, more common. As you can see from the GPIO configuration, four GPIO has been used to control two motors at the left, then another four GPIO for two motors at the right. Now the motor are getting the power, operating power from the nine volt battery. You can use other more powerful battery, but the TT motor only works with six volt and 12 volt battery. So you can use a buck converter if you want to use if you want to utilize it as a, like a six volt power source at the display you can see i have also mentioned the python code a uh, bit of the python code with the pin configuration so basically for left side motor as you can see gpio 17 is assigned for the input one then input two is gpio 22 and then the other motor, left uh, motor B1, is pin number 23 and 24. Same goes for right hand side motor. INA2 is pin number 6. Then INA1 is pin number 13. Then the other one, INB1 equal pin number 19, INB2 pin number. Let's map all the pinout and the GPIOs, how they are connected with TB661 to FNG and the overall power source of the Raspberry Pi 4 as well as the four TT motors. So let's start from the top. So this is the 9 volt battery. So the 9 volt battery is putting power 9 volt to this buck converter which is then translating 9 volt to 6 volt and powering these four motors. So this pin out is connecting with this VM pin voltage of the motor of TB6612. Then the next pin is VCC. VCC connected with the Raspberry Pi 4 5 volt GPIO. So the same same goes for the other motor controller board. As you can see, this is the VCC is powered from this GPIO. This freezing design, as you can see, this two TB6612 is not completely mirroring. It's basically a little bit, you see the orientation of the board. So basically this pin is this pin because this is the limitation of the part I found at freezing part directory. Now the ground pin here, as you can see, is connected with the common ground. This also in parallel connected with this three pin of the TB6612 and three pin is connected with this Raspberry Pi 4 ground pin. Then these are the board output. So the output signal is running this two motor. The other side, the top pin is a PWM. So there is a common PWM shared by four motors to motor controller board and this PWM signal is generated by pin number 12. GPIO 12 generates a PWM signal from the Python code and that common PWM is powering up three pins on each board. As you can see the top pin is the PWM itself and also the standby pin is powered by this PWM then PWM B. So there is two PWM pin, one is for this motor, one is for this motor, and the standby pinout. 
is powered by this pin a GPIO pin from GPIO 12 same goes for the other motor as you can see this yellow all the three pins is powered by same parallel connection now the four GPIO these four GPIO controlling these two motor and these four GPIO is controlling these two motor GPIO itself the first GPIO GPIO 23 and GPIO 18 is controlling this motor so GPI 23 and GPI 18 is controlling this motor on the other hand this two pin this two pin is controlling this motor which is GPI 22 and GPI 17 so GPI 22 and GPI 17 is controlling this motor the other side GPIO 26 and GPIO 19 so GPIO 19 and GPIO 26 is controlling the top pin uh, top motor this one and uh, GPIO 13 and GPIO 6 GPIO 6 and GPIO 13 is controlling the bottom right hand side motor. Two power source has been used because one power source can power the motor, four motors as well as the Raspberry Pi 4. But the problem is that the power requirement for operating Raspberry Pi 4 is quite higher with the 3, three amps current 5 volt that is like 15 watt. So that becomes challenging with a single power source. That's why I have used a separate standalone 9 volt battery to power the Raspberry Pi. And that 9 volt battery injects 9 volt, then the buck converter just translates them to 6 volt. They step down the voltage. Then the 6 volt is connected with the adapter. From the diagram, you can see this is a micro USB, but in reality, I have used USB C. USB-C bare bone board you can buy from online which is connected with the buck converter then connected with the Raspberry Pi 4 power input so this is the overall of the project so basically this part of the this part of the circuit diagram and the video explaining the 4 TT motor configuration with Raspberry Pi 4 next video I will go with this 16 channel Adderfruit servo controller how they connected with the raspberry Pi 4 thank you for watching all this i will see you at next time thank you very much